Okay, so uh, we are done here on one of the lighting standards for interior or for indoor. So let's try and start with the office lighting now. Okay, so this is the picture of one of the office. A very exclusive office. There are offices for one room and there are offices for a general areas like open areas. I will open some of my Deluxe Evo file and show you how we will do office lighting design. Okay, don't worry because you are a beginner. Just absorb what you are going to see right now. And then if you want to forward and study how to use the Dialux Evo, then go and enroll in my lighting design course for beginners in Dialux Evo. Okay, so let's see this project now. Okay, so this is the Yugo Boss office. And this is the report that's going to be generated by this project. Okay, so in, the, in that course, I will teach you how to generate the report for... Um, for for calculation using the Lux Evo software. Okay, so let's go let's go and see it now how it looks. So this is the site tab, the building tab and the story tab. Okay, maybe you're thinking what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Once you enroll in my Udemy course, you will easily understand what I'm talking about. And say for example, I want to calculate because I have so many rooms here, right? I have open area, I have conference, I have uh, com computer room here or server room say for example I want to open the meeting room only so it will be like look like this and if I want to render only the meeting room I can just do it and calculate and if if uh, you want to select or change the luminaire remember how to select the luminaire yeah it's very easy so if you think that this uh, white color is not correct because it's too bluish you can adjust the color here at the manual and drag this uh, lever here to make it correct okay you can use that in your light scene remember the light scene that i told you or which uh, i showed you in the previous um lecture yes you can play with your light scene like from daylight to cool light like you're mimicking the daytime in actual outside Okay, so this is how it looks. You can also change the background into black or something. So there you go. And another one here is, oh, there are so many rooms now. So how do you going to do that? It is very easy. Uh, all you need to do is just create every room and then show either the false color or ISO lines for every room. Yes, you can show that one in your client, that presentation either by number or by false color okay you can also show that in 3d look at that or for every room say for example i'll go to huddle room there you go and yes look at that i don't know why there is ah okay i created the ceiling and calculation for all the areas that's crazy okay so you can um yeah run this one and if you want to learn more how to do the office lighting of course, again, I'm going to plug in again my course in Udemy. There is one uh, course that's called Office Lighting Design Techniques. And yeah, go and enroll in that course if you want to learn more about um, office lighting design. All right. And another one here. Okay. So I think this is just a small office. I just showed it to one. Ah, okay. I remember this office uh, is... If I'm not mistaken, yes, this office is generated from Revit file. I, I, I imported the IFC file for this project instead of the CAD files. Also, the JPEG file, you can see on the base plan, this is a JPEG file. And then I exported the IFC file so you can see all those objects. Okay, yes, you can do that one also in Dialux Evo. Yeah, okay, so that's it. If you want to learn more how to do this office lighting, go and enroll in my Udemy course office lighting design techniques. Okay, on the next topic, we will discuss what is it? Residential lighting. Okay, so see you again on the next lecture.